Hello! So it's about one month later since I did the unboxing video. Now it's time for the full review. Hit it! Intro track. So, when I ordered the guitar, I went with the just standard stainless steel medium jumbo frets. Um, although I really fell in love with the guitar when I unboxed it and played it for the first time. I went for a refret, which is maybe a bit weird when uh, buying a new guitar. But it wasn't perfect and it was pretty noticeable. Uh, especially playing up uh, on the higher frets on the lead. So I went with the jumbo frets and to make it even cooler I went with the jumbo uh, Evo Gold frets. These are the ones Kizo also uses, so these are the Jazzcar ones with the same width and height. I need a great job. And also a small different thing that I did is change the tuner tips for pearl ones to kind of match the white logo and a model of pill inlays, I don't know if you can see them. But the rest is still the same and the rest also is perfect. Yeah, let's go through the specs. So first off, we have the color shift body finish. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. So when light hits it straight on, it's really like kind of boring blue or kind of the same as this eyeglass almost. We well, have almost the same colors, yeah awesome guitar by the way if you haven't seen my video on that one check it out but from all the other angles you get like different colors and it's pretty wide range of colors in here so sometimes it's a kind of greenish blue and sometimes it's red pink kind of purple pretty sick to see so the woods actually pretty basic I went with an outer body with a maple neck quarter on maple neck it's a neck true like you can see and a bird's eye maple fingerboard. I went with the normal lithium pickups uh, with gold pull pieces, gold third rows, original. So now it has the Evo Gold Jumbo frets. Got the locking tuners with the purple tips. We got the 80s inspired headstock, so the reverse angled headstock. Then the neck profile. And yeah, that's basically it. Five-way switch, oh, mod off pull inlays. Let's talk about the Pickups. So these are the lithium pickups, and I was actually quite surprised. A lot of people hate them, or I, I would say like it's really like a love and hate thing with these pickups. Personally, I really like how they sound. The bridge pickup is really, really tight, really crunchy. You can really hear all the strings when you play like your big chords. So the only thing that's maybe putting a lot of people off is the brightness of the pickup. It is a really bright pickup. Uh, that helps with really getting all the note separation but it can be a little bit harsh so when you go for the Kizol Lithium pickups I would suggest going with the tone knob on the guitar and don't delete it because that will even make the pickup brighter or the signal brighter and it's actually kind of nice to turn it a little bit back sometimes if it's necessary so the neck is also really cool it's like a really round sound kind of glassy tone really nice for leads really nice for cleans i did some playing samples with this guitar so let's check that out <laughs> Let's try the riff on the middle position. On the fifth position, or was it second position? Sorry.
of drum is really fluttery. It's a really long flutter, so that's really cool. Okay, let's try some leads on the bridge. That was pretty good. So I didn't do any cleans because this guitar doesn't really need it. Okay, final verdict. I'm still in the honeymoon phase. Do you look at this guitar? It's still so special to me. And I hope it kind of stays that way, of course. There aren't any flaws that I found, but the only tip I would give is don't cheap out on like certain things like smaller frets or whatever. I had to pay 300 bucks for the refret, which isn't bad actually, but I wanted it to be perfect and now it is. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about this guitar, man. It's just, it sounds great. Pickups are a, bit, a little bit bright or the bridge pickup, but yeah, I like it that way. Floyd is also really awesome, really nice and fluttery. So that's also sick. Pretty nice piece of bird's eye maple. It's nothing special, but it's kind of subtle and it kind of gives it this kind of a little bit more classy aesthetic. So this guitar was also featured on the pics of the day. So that's where I saw it first. And they also reposted pictures of this guitar twice on the Instagram. So maybe you've seen it before. So that's this one. This is that one guitar that's gonna stay in my collection together with my Ibanez RG770 and with my PRS Custom 24 and uh, yeah that's basically it man so my suggestion when you buy a Kizu guitar or if I would recommend it yeah of course but a thing that I don't like that much about the company is the way you order a guitar so you order it online so I did it back in November and it took 29 weeks to get it finished and get it shipped out in the meantime you don't get any updates which is really annoying actually I would rather pay a little bit more money than maybe even wait a little bit longer but get updates and I think, I think it's really weird how some guitars that are more difficult and ordered like two months later are done quicker. So yeah, that's I guess my only negative. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions just ask it down below. Um, if you want to stay tuned for more content with guitars playing stuff, subscribe. Eh? It's fun. Free video. Every twice a year. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye!